What's up, my F Remote Tribe? This video is going to be a time lapse of this roll cage I've just finished on this A86 Corolla. Alright, so I wanted to do a time lapse video of me doing a roll cage build just so that I would know how many times I actually have to get in and out because I've always thought that it's probably way more times than I realised and I had a little competition going on my Instagram um, where if you could guess how many times it actually was then you win a t-shirt or if you can guess whoever's closest to the uh, final amount is going to win a t-shirt so this is just a basic six point MSA cage uh, so let's roll the video Alright, so first job on the list is to uh, get everything cleaned up, get all the points back to bare metal where I'm putting my foot plates in. And I actually had to cut some of this central bracing out of the way just to be able to get the main hoop to sit where I wanted it to sit. Um, and then I just go at it with a grinder and a wire wheel and everything and just clean everything up, get it to uh, nice shiny metal, get rid of all the seam sealer and crap and everything, give it a quick clean out. Now I'm just um, making the templates up for the um, foot boxes and the plates to go around the rear shock towers. And in a minute you'll see me just jack it up and take the fuel tank out and uh, take the shocks out just in case there's any vapors in the tank and uh, because I don't want to melt any of the uh, bushes on the rear shock so um, took all those out that's me taking them out and I've got all the boxes sort of cut out with a uh, plasma cutter and that's me just uh, using a blowtorch to get rid of any last little remaining bits of the seam sealer and then uh, I'm just welding the rear plates in there rear bar which is uh, bracing the shock towers so that was me basically measuring everything up for the uh, hoops and this is the main hoop coming together so that was the first test fit I'm just marking the legs to the length they need to be hacking them off and then you need to trim them the second time just get it just right and then this is on to the front legs getting those in I literally had about just enough uh, material for this job and if I'd got any of these wrong it would have been a bit of a disaster so once this bar at the top of the screen is uh, in I'll then weld that as much as I can from underneath and then drop the cage down off its feet that which you'll see me do in a minute and then weld the tops which is how you get to the uh, welds on the top of the cage and now I'm just uh, starting on the welding the foot plates in and the reason that's smoking so much is because uh, someone's filled the sills front to back with expanding foam which uh, made that absolute nightmare to do um, so now I've just slid the cage back up onto its boxes and I uh, just got it tacked in place and I'm working on getting the door bars in and I'm also uh, cutting the pieces for the rear stays and the rear diagonal in the back just to make sure I had enough material here. I would normally get the front completely done and then move on to the back but um, yeah I just because I was wasn't sure at that point whether I actually quite had enough tube to get the job done so um, that was why I did it that way around. This is having a sort of traditional X style door bar going in there, which looks really straightforward, but actually takes quite a bit of time just to get those notches right because of the uh, it's quite a steep angle on the notches. So, so now I'm welding it all in, and now this ratchet strap is pulling the main hoop in so that I can get to those 
welds on the back of those door bars that you wouldn't be able to get to without doing that and then once those are um, in I can basically uh, weld it completely all the way around but this is this is me just making up some uh, like dimple dyed gusset plates to go on the A and B pillars getting those tacked in place and this is the final welding all the way around the door bars and all the main front legs so they're just fully welding in the gusset plates on the A and B pillars and uh, now I'm getting the rear section of the cage all welded in, the back stays and the uh, two diagonals to make the X in the back and uh, getting that welded in um, I think that's the harness bar I'm just cutting there final bit of welding to be done on the rear section of the cage to get all that finished up and then uh, yeah the last piece was the harness bar so um, that's pretty much it done I'm going to add one more to the final total just because I've got these uh, last two welds on the harness bar to do but I'm not going to do that until I've got the seat here uh, so that I can get the height of that just right so there's one more to add on So that's it, I've just finished up um, going through all the footage, counting everything up. It was 119 times I got in and out of the car. I only counted the times when both feet were in and out, basically. 119 times. Um, it's double what my guess was. I guess 60 for a, like a basic cage and 100 for you know, a more complicated cage. Um, so, the closest guess was 120 from a Volks worker on Instagram. So, so I'll send a message over and um, give me your address. I'll send you a T-shirt. Um, if you're interested in uh, what? Have I water? No, I'll bring you some up. No, I can just make some. There's a bottle up there. All right, do that then. So yeah, if you're into uh, learning about how it's all done then I've done videos on um, how to use a bender, how to take the measurements up from your car, how to bend the main hoop, um, how to notch the tubes, how to weld around the tubes. I've pretty much done a video of every part of the whole process so if there's something you want to learn go and watch some of my older videos and um, yeah that's it for this one. Cheers for watching. See ya.